Rita does incredible, incredible designs. I mean, her, her clothes are absolutely amazing. Um, and it, the bright, it's very, very soft, a lot of waves and a lot of the, um, the material that she's using. I wanted to have a contrast. I wanted to, we wanted something a little bit stronger. Well, basically what we've done is we've got the sides have pulled back into a very high ponytail, which is just underneath the actual top section. It's not secured so much with pins. It's, it's secured, but then the pins are taken out just before the girls go on. So it's really, really free flowing. It's really lovely. For the beauty, I went for just like a natural look with a little bit of color because I wanted um, the, the models to look as if they just were like sun-kissed um, with just like a glow. We were inspired by this collection of seashells and different tones that you see in seashells with colors. So we really wanted to reflect on the makeup of that. So you're seeing a lot of um, pink elements, glitz of gold, a lot of bronzing and a lot of opalescence that's found on the skin and the face. And really just telling the story um, so that way the makeup melts with the dresses and it's just ultimately beautiful. Nails is actually the, I will call it the cherry on top of the sundae. It makes it complete. The look that we have created for Rita is a bronzy base with a sheer coral iridescent on top. And one thing I love about Rita, she's not afraid of color. Rita is a bridal designer that understands that you can have color and be a bride, and that's what makes it fun and beautiful. The theme is Return to Paradise, and um, we were in on vacation in the Mayan Riviera, or the Riviera Maya, and um, we took a walk along the beach with my family. We collected a bunch of shells, and I put them on my desk. And I kept on looking at them. They were like this incredible tone of like corals and sand colors and mother of pearl. And I decided that was going to be the inspiration because every time I looked at it, I remembered the sunlight that hit my face, like being there and being like with my loved ones. And I thought that this collection is going to be about giving that feeling to every bride that wears the dress. A lot of what I did this season is I went lighter on fabrication. So we've got a lot of Chantilly lace, and we've got layers and light fabrications. Um, we introduced the, a coral mist color, so it has that very pale coral color. It's not as um, textured as it has been in the past. Um, the silhouettes, they're a lot cleaner. Um, there's a little bit more return to like the classic silhouettes and making it more about um, the sculpture and the lightness of the dress. She had a, a great collection, the soft coral. She had a variety of looks. I love the metallic laces and the sparkly shoulders. And um, I think she just, she knows her customer, and but yet she still has a diversity. That's great for, for this time of year. signature for Ravini is um, there's always architecture in it so it's a play of architecture um, playing of layers and um, as far as detail there's minimal detail but yet in a couture sensibility Classic bride with a, with a little bit of fashion forward to her, and the gowns are always very flattering to the body. And I think she does well because I think she thinks about the body first and being very classic. I absolutely loved it. I was just saying earlier, you know, Rita never really disappoints. I think this particular collection really kind of accented what she's known for, her beading, her textures, very light laces, um, beautiful backs, uh, but very, very light fabrics and uh, absolutely refreshing. My bride 
is fashionable. Um, she's um, wearing fashion every day and what she's looking for for her wedding dress is an extension of that fashionability that she has for her day that takes her into a wedding mode. When I'm designing um, the bridal gowns, I always think of the front and the back because when you're walking down that aisle, um, your attendees are going to be looking at the back of you and when you're doing your vows. So it's just as important as the front. The front is going to be where you're going to capture all your pictures and the back is what everyone looks at you. And I always believe as a designer that, um, and I love to design 360 so that when you're in a room as a woman, no matter what angle you're at, um, there's something there that captures everyone's attention. Sometimes in the past the back has been forgotten and it's just as important and, and depending on how the ceremony is actually going to flow with the bride, the, uh, the, the congregation may be looking at the back of the dress, maybe even longer than the front of the dress. But in any sense of the way the ceremony is going to be organized, I think the dress all around needs to be perfect. Beach inspired, we still have our fuller silhouettes. So we've got our ball gowns um, and they're light and they have an ethereal sensibility about them. We've got a, a, an amazing new silhouette, which is like this structured A line file dress um, that's got a lot of structure, but it still has this lightness because we did it in the coral mist color, which is quite incredible. She's very fresh. I would say she's a little bit whimsical. Um, she wants to feel feminine at the same time. She wants to pay attention to detail and fabric, keeping something very light. But she really wants to show her personality. Very natural, very fresh. is about, as I said, returning to paradise. Um, I want them to leave here feeling like they were almost at a vacation themselves and feel that warmth and that love.